support that we received since I decided to get on one knee and propose the most beautiful bride I've ever seen. Even though I may be a little bit biased. It means so much to Brittany and I that you took the time to come and celebrate such a special day and to kick off the beginning of me being able to enjoy Brittany's cooking on a daily basis. I'm excited to say the least. We started off the wedding process with the idea of having a small and intimate wedding and only inviting the closest people in our lives. Well, we started planning in the guest list to continue to grow and grow and grow. And by the end of it, we realized that there were a lot more close people than we thought. And for that, we're very grateful. Gregory and I have so many amazing people in our lives that not only have helped us put this day together, but have helped us become the people that we are today. Well, we have so many people we'd like to thank. From friends that have had since kindergarten, to an aunt that raised me when I was a baby, to Brittany's tia that cooks her favorite Portuguese meal. There are a few people in particular that we'd like to mention tonight. Starting with Brittany's parents, Mandy and Louisa. First off, thank you for raising the love of my life. From the moment I walked into your door, into your overly clean Portuguese home, <laughs> well, you welcomed me as a son you never had. From Louisa making sure I get my third serving of Portuguese rice, or the last mango, to Manny pouring me a shot of a niche, or pouring me a cold one, while showing me his latest video of him jamming with his band in the machine, or one of his latest projects around the home he's done for Louisa. I'm proud to call you both my second parents. Mom, Dad, I don't even know where to begin thanking you. You've always been my greatest supporters. You're always the loudest ones to cheer at everything I did. Whether it be ringside during a tournament, in the audience during my acting days, or at my endless graduations. Dad, you taught me how to ride a bike, to build a deck, to drive. Sorry for the grace. <laughs> to change a tire and to stand my ground. Mom, you taught me the essentials in life, like how to be an independent woman, how to pick the perfect watermelon, and how to cook enough food for a hundred people, even if only five were coming over. <laughs> this time in my life has been particularly special as you helped me with all of the wedding preparations. I wouldn't be the person who I am today without you guys. Thank you so much for everything you've done. I can change it. We'd also like to thank Greg's parents, Clyde and Teresa. Thank you for always inviting me into your home and into your large and loud extended family. <laughs> Teresa, I know that today is a dream come true for you. Not only because you've always wanted a daughter, but because you've been asking me to marry your son since the second week we started dating. <laughs> we've had many years of laughs and late nights rolling rice balls and I look forward to it. Clyde. Thank you for inviting me into your outcast club. For many years, it was just you and I against the sea of sheer Montes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like mornings to run for my life, I couldn't imagine life without your son. So I promise to always have your back during the crazy time. <laughs> Thank you for all of the support that you've given us over the years, and I promise to take good care of your son. Uh, Mom and Dad, you've had to deal with a lot with me growing up, and I mean a lot. From my particular food requirements, my heated soccer games, to the many high school parties that got way out of hand. Dad, you've been my soccer coach, my motivator, driving instructor, father. You showed me how to properly respond when a referee makes a bad call. <laughs> Or how to eat a full row of cookies during an episode of Carnation Street. <laughs> but in all honesty, when I think of what you instilled in me, it's the ability to never back down from a fight in life, and I wouldn't be here without them. Mom, the woman who can sometimes love a little too much. Your love and care for both myself and my brother Danny goes well beyond words. You've taught me that family is the most important thing in life, 
Thank you for worrying so much. And don't worry, I'm not gone for good. I'm just trying to give you the daughter you've always asked for. I love you both. Thank you for everything. I can always count on coming home to the sound of people being played on the line between Brian, Greg, and Chris to see Bruno at a Sunday night soccer game, even though their team has never won. Hey. To beer and Wednesdays with Ruben and some crazy antics from Cooper. An extra special shout out to Danny. I've been waiting 26 years to have a little brother. Thank you for making that a reality for me. I wouldn't change a thing about you, except how much you make fun of me. <laughs> To the beautiful bridesmaids, thank you for keeping Brittany sane during this crazy wedding process, even though I was a little bit worried at times. It was close. It seems like over the past couple of years, she's had more dates with Ashley, her newfound twin, Eva, her lifelong best friend who inside jokes I don't understand at all, and Crystal, my new favorite Portuguese cousin that her and I have ever had. It makes me so happy to know that she has so many strong women to lean on and to escape with when I drive her absolutely crazy. And it's gonna happen. I'm sorry, Brittany. <laughs> Megan, Brittany's sister, I watched you grow up and become a young independent woman. While you certainly know how to get into trouble, I can always rely on you for a few laughs and a few glasses of wine during dinner with your parents. And I want you to know at this point, I'll always have your back whenever you need me. It's especially important to me to see the bond between Brittany and my cousins, Caitlin and Nicole, because they're not just cousins to me. Caitlin and Nicole, we grow up together. You're my little sisters, and I care about you very much. Thank you for all the effort and support you gave Brittany leading up to this day. To my new husband, I wish I could say it was love at first sight, but it's hard to fall in love when you're performing first aid. But once you stopped bleeding and I got to know you, I soon realized that you were the one for me. You supported me through the many, many, many years of school I went through, and you always encouraged me to do whatever made me happy. You dealt with my crazy Jeopardy obsession and the ever-growing pile of books that has invaded our home. Most of all, you always loved me exactly as I am, and I will be forever grateful for that. You are my comfy spot, my travel partner, my goofy friend, my safe haven, my protector, and the true love of my life. I love you more than words can say, and I look forward to all the beautiful memories that we will make over the rest of our lives. Thank you. So my beautiful bride. Once you made me that shrimp pasta, I knew you were the one. <laughs> But in all seriousness, you changed the life from the moment I met you. You make me a better person every day. And I would not be where I am today, and would not have the dreams and goals I aspired to achieve without you. Brittany, you're the most important person in my life. You make me laugh every day, and even on the worst days, I know I can come home to you and you will put a smile on my face. Brittany Florin, my wife, I love you, and I meant what I said during my wedding vows, I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Let's get a huge round of applause. 